Welcome back to Blockchain Pill, my name is Alex and today we'll have a look at what's been happening on the Internet Computer Protocol the previous week. But before we jump into the news, let's have a look at the ICP price. This week, it looks like we have finally broken out of this range where we've been stuck for the past month actually and ICP has been trading at over $5 and around 20 cents. Yesterday, today the price dropped a little bit to just under $5. I think we are looking pretty good. We've seen major updates from the Definity team that we will go into in this video. So congratulations to everybody who was able to hold their ICP for the past year. And with that said, let's go straight into the video. And we have some pretty big updates. We have the BTC ordinal marketplace Bionic who just launched on the Internet Computer Protocols. I want us to go back a little bit to the beginning of this year. In January 2023, we saw the rise of Bitcoin ordinals. And for those living under a rock, Bitcoin ordinals are the equivalent of non-fungible tokens or NFTs on the Bitcoin blockchain inscribed using Satoshi's, the smallest denomination of a Bitcoin. So in short, ordinals are a new method of creating NFTs, meme tokens, and other assets on the Bitcoin blockchain. However, because of the increased activity on the Bitcoin blockchain, fees skyrocketed, making it a lot harder and expensive to inscribe new ordinals. Only a few months after the initial BTC ordinals craze began, Definity completed the release of CKBTC, a Bitcoin twin leveraging ICP's technology that enables fast, low-fee, secure, and fully on-chain Bitcoin transactions on the internet computer protocol. And that was pretty much it. Like we didn't hear about CKBTC for a while until earlier this week when Bob Bodley announced the launch of Bionic, a BTC ordinals marketplace that leverages the power of CKBTC. Bob underlines the benefits of building the ordinals marketplace on a Bitcoin sidechain, and those are increased Bitcoin transfer speeds of less than 10 seconds and for a fraction of the price, we're looking at 10 Satoshi's fees per transaction, which is super, super small. Secondly, we have increased ordinal transfer speeds of less than 10 seconds with no fees whatsoever. And finally, the ability to buy, sell, place orders, bids, and auction on the Bionic Marketplace. And those benefits alone cover most of the downsides that people face when trading ordinals on the original Bitcoin protocol. But Bionic doesn't stop there. You're now able to reserve ordinals and reserved ordinals contain all of the data needed to inscribe, but they are stored off Bitcoin and on ICP as packets of data that are reserved, tokenized, and given or sold to users. And these reserved ordinals are immediately tradable on Bionic and allow the reserved ordinal owner to inscribe as part of a collection whenever they want. For example, they can wait for lower network fees. The Bionic launch is one of the first applications of CKBTC and a huge achievement that speaks volumes about the power of the ICP blockchain. The launch didn't go unnoticed as many crypto publications have picked it up and the marketplace has received over 15,000 signups in the first 24 hours since they launched. I'm looking forward to see how else people will make use of CKBTC, but until then, congratulations to Bionic. You guys have done an amazing job. Right after finishing CKBTC, Definity started working on CKETH, an IC native token that represents Ether, the native token on the Ethereum blockchain. Since CKETH is an IC native token, it can be transacted very fast and with low fees and is easy to use from inside IC dApps. The proposal for the CK ETH canister to go live was made recently on December 1st, and it passed with an almost unanimous vote over 99% yes votes, which I've personally never seen for any proposal Ever. So CK ETH is now live on ICP. From my understanding, CK ETH would allow Ethereum native apps to live on the ICP blockchain, get rid of the outrageous fees and perform transactions at lightning fast speeds. It's important to keep in mind that Definity provides the tools and it is up to the community to use those tools to build the next generation of dApps. And if you were not aware, the Definity Foundation offers developer grants to teams that want to build on the Internet Computer Protocol and those grants range from $5,000 to $25,000 all the way up to $100,000 depending on the size and scope of your project. Definity welcomed a new series of grantees last week. Congratulations to Rentspace, Upstreet, VFans, TerraBlock, 
and Elna. I'm excited to see so many new faces join the ICP ecosystem. We'll leave the link to the grant program in the description below. It's gonna be the first link. If you are interested to building a cool dApp on the Internet Computer Protocol, make sure you do check the Definity Grants program. Dragon's Middleland is finally out. The team insisted that Middleland is not an alpha, beta, or accurate representation of what Dragon's will be. Its scope is to present the current game mechanics to show the community where Dragon's is progress-wise. Even with all those disclaimers, the game looks pretty cool and I would personally not mind if this was it, but the team insists that it will look way better, so that's very good news. We begin at the character creation screen where you can customize your playing character. Once we're happy with our choice, we enter the world of dragons and receive our first dragon's egg. You can explore all the updates that dragons has released over the past year by exploring around the world. The team has released a timeline of dragons starting all the way from 1980 and going until 2025, you can find that on dragons.io slash plan. The price of Dragon's token has gone down since it hit 999 ICP to a recent low of around 350 ICP, which has allowed new investors to jump in. Dragon's is by far one of the most promising projects on the Internet Computer Protocol, and I think that everybody should at least own some DKP or Dragon's token. Of course, this is not financial advice. It is just some friendly advice, so keep that in mind. Plug Wallet introduced the long-awaited mobile app. It was about time we got a mobile wallet on the IC, and this will make it a lot easier for new users to come to the ICP ecosystem. The app keeps the same easy-to-understand interface that we're used to from the browser version and keeps you up-to-date with price updates sent via push notifications. Last week, I had Luke Dugdale, the CEO of both Plug Wallet and Fundit app, on for a podcast. I recommend you go watch it if you have a already. There is a bunch of updates on both Plug and Funded in that video, so if you're interested about those, make sure you check it out. Elna introduced Ask Elna, your decentralized AI body. Ask Elna is not just a chat agent, but a gateway to decentralized AI and AGI ran on the Elna Live platform. To engage with it, simply tweet your question and tag Ask Elna in the tweet. The bot will tweet back with the answer. The team mentioned that this is just an experiment, but I can see this working for companies in the future. An AI with the correct data set will always be right and always be pleasant in responding to people. So I think this is a step forward. It's going to be a busy week for Definity as the team is currently in India during India Blockchain Week. You can meet and network with the Definity team at various events starting from December 4th. In addition to that, you can now find a complete calendar of all events that the Definity Foundation will attend on the Definity.org website. Indonesia on chain, a unique government-led education program powered by the Internet Computer Protocol is live. Dominic Williams addressed the thousands of students at the launch event about how this initiative is driving the momentum towards a tech-powered Indonesia. This is an initiative by the Indonesian ICP hub Disruptives that goes above and beyond to spread ICP adoption. We've invited Bruno Calabretta to a podcast to discuss more about Indonesia on chain and ICP hubs in general, so make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss this episode when it comes out. And finally, OpenChat introduces premium communities. You are now able to charge users a fee for joining premium communities, channels, and groups. 80% of the revenue goes to the group owners, while 20% goes directly to the open chat SNS treasury. One-time payment gates are available now with a subscription model coming soon. I'm looking forward to seeing the first thriving paid communities on open chat. And that being said, the blockchain pill open chat community will always be free. If you're not a member already, make sure you join. The link is in the description below. And with that, we're done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.